What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters EX video. My name is Charlie. Today, uh, second video of the day, we're going to talk about um, the new sync pairs that are coming in from the data mine. Uh, some will be getting very soon, some will be getting a little bit later on, but we're going to be able to show you guys uh, their details and which ones you're going to want to prioritize. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it with Serena. It says Palantine's 2021 so i'm assuming palantines is like the passio version of valentines so yeah and whimsicott so let's go ahead and uh check out the role type and weakness so it's going to be a tech type uh a tech role uh fairy type of course with a weakness to poison theme skills are going to be fairy and tech oh and by the way guys this is off of the absolutely uh twitter page Data mined by absolutely, and the infographic that you see, the, this beautiful infographic, and all the ones that we're going to show, was made by uh, at Lost Mode. So thank you, at Lost Mode, for taking uh, Absolutely's data mine and putting it into this beautiful, really beautiful uh, presentation. Uh, so the theme skills: Fairy and uh, Kalos. So we're only getting two of those. It's fine. We'll go ahead and check out the uh, stats right up here. At level 130, you got eight or 587 for HP, attack of 293, defense 190, special attack 360, and special defense 167, and speed of 363. So, not too bad actually for a special striker uh, capabilities there. Uh, but the passive skills are where we can really go crazy with this thing. So we got Hunter's Instinct. The more the target's speed is lowered, the more it powers up moves. Ramming speed, it just comes with ramming speed. So the more the user's speed is raised, the more it powers up moves. Go Viral 9. So our second Go Viral 9 unit. Uh, pretty good. It's pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Uh, when a status move is used to inflict a status on an opponent, it inflicts the same status on all the opposing sync pairs. So... It's an AoE for a non a. It's an AoE passive skill to make a non AoE move affect all everybody. And there's a couple of those that we can do. We'll go ahead and check out the uh, move set right now. You have Moon Blast. Again, pretty good for a special striker. I'm not gonna lie. Has a moderate chance of lowering the target's special attack. Stun Spore leaves the target paralyzed, which AoE attack leaves the entire t opposing team paralyzed, so very cool. Cotton Spore sharply lowers the target speed, uh, but it, it's an AoE attack itself, so you're just lowering the speed of the entire opposing team, which, you know, helps out with Hunter Instinct there. And we have Sugar Rush. Raises the user's special attack, sharply raises the user's speed of all allied sync pairs, or sharply raises the speed of all uh, sync pairs, uh, applies the free move next effect to the user. So you, you personally, as Serena and Whimsicott, will be able to, you, after you use this, you will be able to use one of your moves that uses move gauge, and it will negate the move gauge. So you'll, instead of using like Moon Blast, which would use three move gauge, you would just use move, Moon Blast without using those three move gauge. And you'll be able to use those for another Moon Blast or another move that you have lined up. It just saves you a bunch of stuff. It's really cool. Uh, very, very useful. Um, high priority, I would say. Uh, the the uh, sync move is Semi Sweet Fairy Beam. And as a 6 star EX, it is a uh, 1.5 times the power for the sync move against a single opponent uh, because it's a tech unit. Uh, description, this moves... Oops, let's zoom back in. The more the target stats have been lowered... Oh wait, no, this is my bad. Okay, there we go. Uh, so this move's power increases if the target is paralyzed. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, you can definitely use Serena and Whimsicott as its own striker, a special striker. Because um, its kit just all powers itself up. It's really cool. And uh, Or you could use it for someone like a uh, Cygnus suit Cynthia, who 
gets paralysis buffs uh, for her attacks when the opposing team or opposing target is uh, paralyzed. So, looking forward to that team. And next up, we're going to take a look at uh, Dawn. Uh, so, we're checking out uh, Dawn and Al, Cre Al Creamy. I'm still getting the name pronunciations down. Al Creamy. Uh, so first up the roll, it's a tech type as well, and uh, fairy type, weak to steel. Uh, the theme skills are fairy and Sinnoh. The stats at level 130, HP is 630, attack is 212, defense 173, special attack 370! Even better special attack than Serena. Uh, special defense of 212, and speed is at 273. Uh, passive skills, Ripple Effect 4. When a move used by the uh, Pokemon... Wait, 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 let me read this again. When a move used by the Pokemon lowers an opponent's stat, has a good chance of lowering the same stat for all opposing Sync Pairs. Uh, so, a essentially 40% chance of an AoE stat lower lowering. Stat reduction. It's pretty cool. Uh, power Loving. The more the target's stats have been lowered, the more it powers up moves. And Team Wide Awake prevents all sync pairs from falling asleep. Very useful uh, when you're going against certain uh, opponents that are going to use sleep and all that sort of fun stuff. So, pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, so as far as moveset goes, you've got Dazzling Gleam, uh, all an AoE attack. Uh, Charm, which 100% accuracy to move gauge, and sharply lowers the target's attack. Fake Tears, uh, which is a dark type move actually. 100% uh, accuracy to move gauge against a single opponent, sharply lowers the target's special defense. And we have How Sweet, sharply raises an ally's attack and special attack, makes an ally gradually heal itself. Now for the sync move, Whip Cream's Fairy Beam. Uh, it's a 1.5 uh, multiplier at 6 star EX for the power uh, because it's a tech unit. Uh, against single opponent, description, the more the target stats have been lowered, the greater the power of this move. Uh, so yeah, pretty good. Again, another really good unit. Like it's, it's hard to say which one's the better unit Serena's edges, I think, edges out Dawn a little bit, but still it's really good. They're both really good units, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so, are you, did you snore? I think Elliot snored. Uh, so next up is Professor Sycamore and Xerneas. Uh, it is a support type, fairy, uh, or, or support role fairy type, weak to steel. It has uh, only two theme skills, Fairy and Kalos. Now when it comes to stats, 639 uh, for HP, 292 for physical attack, uh, 246 for defense, 262 for special attack, and 252 for special defense, and 313 for speed. Uh, so defenses are not that bad, actually, you know, it's a decent support. Uh, can do some damage with its attack. Um, but what's really cool about it is its moveset, but we'll, before we get to the moveset, we'll go ahead and do passive skills. Has a team shout for, has a good chance of raising the attack and special attack for both, or both, of all allied sync pairs when the user is hit by an attack move. And uh, we've seen that with um, Cygnus Suit Blastoise, by the way, or Cygnus Suit Blue and Blastoise. So it's not a new thing. Uh, fairy Power 5 powers up uh, the user's fairy type moves by 50% pretty much. That's pretty good. That's really good. Uh, and it comes with uh, Dazzling Gleam, so an AoE attack, and Moon Blast, uh, which has a moderate chance of lowering the target special attack. Uh, three gauge move, 100% accuracy with 98 power. So really strong uh, for special striker. And you can also use the two uh, Valentine's Day units to sort of buff this one out. Like, it's pretty 
they would work really, really well together for a fairy team. I'm not gonna lie. Like, fairies definitely getting a boost as a typing in the game. This with these units, like, it's pretty crazy how well these guys are gonna work together. Uh, next up, the world is vast. Uh, makes its allied side one use. Makes the move gauges accelerate on the allied field of play. Removes all status conditions from all allied sync pairs. Makes all allied sync pairs gradually heal themselves. So he does status condition removal, uh, healing, uh, accelerated uh, move gauge, uh, powers up attack and special attack. Like he's really good. <laughs> He has an AoE attack, a really strong single attack, and he has Horn Leech, which is a grass type move, a uh, 3 gauge move against a single opponent, and uh, it restores the user's HP based on the amount of damage dealt to the target, so he can self heal on top of that. He's really good. Uh, and he has a very interesting sync move, Gentlemanly Geomancy. Uh, so what this actually does is it actually affects your allied team instead of attacking the opponent. So this is a first. I'm pretty sure this is a first in the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, so what it does is uh, charges the move gauges of all allied sync pairs by two. So it charges move gauge. Raises the attack, special attack. Or raises the special attack, the special defense, and speed of all allied sync pairs up to six stat ranks based on the user's move level. So this would be a unit, uh, a sync pair, that you want to invest in. He's a free to play unit, so we're all gonna get him, so don't worry about that. You want to invest five star move candies, and those are really, really rare to get. So when you can, save them up, invest in this guy because he's going to be worth it For real he's going to be worth it uh probably he's right now ranking number two behind serena uh so really really good next is lissandri and evie tall evie tall like evil evil tall evil tall evil tall okay pronunciations so he's a <laughs> the role of special striker He's a flying type, which I kind of really wanted this to be a dark type. I really wanted this to be a dark type, but alas, it's another flying type. Uh, and it's weak to fairy types. Theme skills, flying, and Kalos. So the move set, or the, uh, the status actually, uh, the stats, HP of 757, so not too bad there, attack of 299, uh, defense of 116, special attack 370, which makes sense because he is a special striker. Uh, special defense of 116 and speed of 286. So, not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's check out the passive skills. Recuperation 1 restores the user's HP after using a sync move. This guy is crazy. Uh, healthy healing makes the user gradually heal itself. If its HP is full when it enters battle, which of course it is, so it's awesome. Powers up the user's dark type move, uh, dark power five. So interesting. It can be a dark striker. That's really cool. Uh, let's check out the move set. So Oblivion Wing, power of 146, accuracy 100, four gauge move against single opponent. Restores the user's HP based on the amount of damage dealt to the target. Each use restores up to half of the user's maximum HP. Do you even need supports with this guy? Like, what's going on? What's going on? This guy's insane. Um. Oh, God. Um. I think this guy just moved up to number one priority-wise. Uh, that's really, really good. Uh, next up, X Special Attack. Of course, we all know what that does. Dark Pulse, we all know what that does. And it's powered, it's actually powered up by 50%, so it's doing a lot of damage too. <laughs> so he is, 
He is essentially a Dark Striker. That's insane. Uh, okay. Wow. And, uh, end of the world. Two max uses to the self. Reduces the user's sync move countdown by one. Sharply raises the user's critical hit rate. So he raises his critical hit rate, but lowers the user's defense and special defense. Okay, so you're going to want to have, like, defense raising. Both special defense and physical defense raising uh, supports. Or at least one of them. God, that's crazy. Um, and then just have Skyla and Swana as your third. Like, this, that would do well. That would do really well. God, this guy's nuts. Um, cleansing Oblivion Wing is the sync move. Uh, let's see here. Power of 250 uh, against single opponent, but when he hits a 6-star EX, it will become an AoE sync move. Very cool. Uh, so just... I think the, this guy just moved up to number one spot. Yeah, this guy definitely moved up to number one spot. Alright, very last, but not the very least. Pierce and Obstagoon. Uh, Obstagoon, definitely one of my favorite uh, Gen 8 uh, design Pokemon. It looks really cool. Uh, he's a support type, a support role, dark type, weak to fighting, with a dark support. Uh, a dark, the theme skills are dark and gym leader. So not too bad. Uh, HP, 6, 17, attack, 3, 18, defense, 262. Special attack, 212. Special defense, 215. Speed of 216. Okay. Uh, decent stats for, you know, a support that's not, it, like, game-breaking. Uh, passive skills. Hunker down, 9. Interesting. These are all 9s. <laughs> Maybe he is game-breaking. We'll see. Raises the user's defense when the user is... Uh, when the user nullifies an opponent's move while in a defensive posture, uh, raises the user's special defense when the user nullifies. Uh, oh, so wait, wait, wait. So hunker down. Wait, wait, wait. I went through that way too fast for, for my brain. Uh, hunker down nine. Raises the user de user's defense when the user nullifies an opponent's move while in a defensive posture. Okay. Hold fast nine. Raises the user's special defense when the user nullifies an opponent's move while in a defensive posture. Okay, so a lot of... Okay. And then Team Reposit 9 raises the attack of all allied sync pairs when the user nullifies an opponent's move while in a defensive posture. So... Okay. We'll check out the uh, move set. Has Night Slash, uh, 40 power, 100% accuracy, 2 move gauge against single opponent, critical hits land more easily. Very cool. Uh, X, di or dire hit all plus, so raising your critical hit rate for the entire team. Obstruct, so this must be the defensive posture one. The user takes up a defensive posture using this move again will make the user leave this defensive posture. No other actions can be taken while in this defensive posture. Nullifies an attack move that targets the user while it is in this defensive posture. Then the user leaves the defensive posture. If the move was a physical attack move, sharply lowers the defense of the opponent that used it. So it'll, so it'll just uh, nullify both special and physical attacks from the sound of it, but if it's a physical attack, it'll also lower the attacking opponent's defense. So... It's pretty good, actually. That's not bad. Only has two uses, so I'm assuming the Sync Grid's probably gonna have some MP refreshes for that. Hopefully, like, an MP, like two MP refresh threes, maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Uh, let's see here. Shout My Name. Uh, two uses for it's an AoE for allies charges the move gauges of all allied sync pairs by two makes the user able to endure the next hit uh, it takes that would reduce it to zero so it's pretty good it's pretty good and uh, no the sync move no escape uh, no encores throat chop no encores throat chop okay 
and since it's a support when it becomes a six star ex uh once per battle the stat uh increase after using a sync move is doubled uh so that would be very useful for like the dire hit all plus uh this power is 250 so it does decent damage but i mean it's talk about raising raising defense raising special defense raising the attack of all allied sync pairs so physical attack so this guy would be really good on a team with um halloween hilbert and uh mightyena um uh uh halloween acerola as well because uh, uh mimikyu does a physical strike move and those are the two dark types uh i mean a bite build for um uh, uh, uh karen and houndoom not too bad this could even help out like grimsley with lipard totally honestly so not too bad but uh, when it comes to which one of these is, like, priority, number one priority, Lysandry and, uh, uh, Evitol, 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 uh, then I'd say Serena and Whimsicott, uh, Professor Sycamore and Xerneas, uh, then Dawn and, uh, Alcremi. And then finally, Pierce and uh, Obstagoon. I'm going to try to get them all to 3 out of 5 at least. Uh, of course, with you know Xerneas, that's going to take a little bit because of needing the 5-star move candies. Um, but yes, that would be my suggestion for you guys. If you're looking, saving your gems, see who you want to use first. Uh, or who to use the gems on first. That would be mine for you guys to consider. Uh, but let me know what you think down in the comment section below uh, about these uh, new sync pairs coming to the game. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already because you don't want to miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters EX content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.